Hello everyone, Vanilla Vanilla here. Today I'm doing an honest review on the horse game. This game is probably the most divided game I have seen in the horse community for many reasons. And I'm going to talk about this before I join the game because I'm going to be playing the free trial, which only gives you 30 minutes every 24 hours. So I really got to make that 30 minutes count and I can't spend that 30 minutes sitting here talking. I will say, going into this i am not neutral with my opinion the way the game is set up seems very money hungry i don't know if that's intentional i don't think it is but it's hard to tell because i've never spoken to the owner directly before um however as i'm playing today and as i'm going i will be giving recommendations and such as to what i think would make the game better from a visual standpoint as well as from a gameplay standpoint and a community standpoint However, this could all be taken with a grain of salt. This is my opinion. Maybe things would work actually differently. I don't know. But before we start, just getting that out of the way. Um, I do know that there was a big thing with this game and Horse Destiny having a very, very, very similar horse model and causing a lot of confusion. Um, however, we're going to get into this. I'm going to quit talking. We're going to actually play. All right, so starting now, we have 30 minutes. I'm waiting for my game to load here. Hmm, okay. First issue, that is AI art. I can tell just by the way that it looks. Um, friendly note to the creator of the game, don't use AI art. It is extremely controversial. It will get you in controversy. Just commission someone to draw something for you or even just use photos of real life horses would probably be the better option okay see here still kind of out of place but this isn't really controversial because you are using a real horse which this real horse does kind of look like the black horse i will give it that and the brown horse a little bit i'm gonna pick the brown horse that's just because i don't know i feel like i like the black horse better okay let's see English horse giveaway will contact the winners. Giveaway prize. Okay, so I guess there's a contest going on. I didn't know about that. Ooh. GUIs are a little bit rough. I think the GUIs, especially the ones at the top right over here, could use some work. Okay, use arrows to change the move mode of your horse. And it has W and S. Okay, I like the W and S. Follow the arrows to find your ranch. You can store more horses here. Okay. Oh, okay. So the turning is a little... Not sure I feel about the turning. It's very janky. It's it kind of like snaps to the side. Like if I hold S or D, it kind of like snaps to the side instead of being smooth. Um, One thing I'd suggest is maybe making the turning a little bit less jarring. Perhaps have it be... um. What is it? Perhaps have it be a little bit more smooth, and maybe they don't turn as rough. Because as you see here, it kind of, like, turns rather roughly. Animations aren't horrible, but the t I think the turning is the biggest problem there. Okay, um, this is where your- looks like there's an apple. Okay, pick up. Weed apple. Okay, so, my biggest thing right now is the GUI and the turning. Um, GUI, I very much recommend doing something that's a little bit more polished. Trying to, like, perhaps even just make the colors a little bit less bright. Or something along the lines of that. Or even make this GUI at the top right fit in a little bit better. Because it really stands out compared to everything else. Fitting your horse is a great way to keep up their happiness. Uh, no thanks, I want to explore my own. All I have for now. Okay, I'm. I also I'm gonna say I really don't like the fact that there's a free trial. I wish that they would have just like I don't know they would have just made the game free. Which I understand it's an early access. However, with the way the game is made, they could probably make plenty of money with it not even being paid access. If the game was free. They'd probably make more profit off of the game because more people would be able to join and purchase game passes if they wish to without worrying about like is it worth buying this game 
is it not worth buying this game? Because this free trial seems like something I'd see as like a scammy app game. Um, which, you know, you don't want your game to be seen as a scam. I would assume you wouldn't want your game to be seen as a scam. And the way this is set up makes it seem like it'd be kind of a scam game. Um, at least from my point of view. And also, noticing this up here, try not to shove game passes in people's faces. People do not like that. I do not like that. It's very irritating, especially when trying to realistic roleplay. Because if you're trying to realistic roleplay, and then there's a giant button up here where you could buy a game pass, that's not really realistic, is it? And I assure you, creator of the game, if you for some reason watching this, even if you are not putting billboards up and stuff of everything, me especially, when I join a game and I like it, the first thing I do is I go to the shop and see what I can buy. And if there's something I like and I, something I feel like would be useful to me or something that I want to have, I'll buy it, even if I didn't even see them anywhere else. Ooh, hello, Becky. Uh, I'm your burn helper. Is anything you need help with? Can I just walk away? I have one little note. Might want to add the ability to just cancel it because I now I have to press something. Uh, customizing, sure. Never mind. There we go. Okay. This game, I feel like it would have potential to be a really good game. I just feel like there's a lot of things that could be changed that could make it way better. This has potential to be a really amazing game. Because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Horse Valley, but with more to do and like a better environment, I guess, is a way to describe it. Um, I do want to see this game succeed. I'd love to see a game like this succeed and actually be ran by good people because it seems like a lot of horse games lately have come out to be like ran by terrible people, which sucks because it's like, it makes me not want to play those games. But okay, so horse adoption. I feel like the area over here you could benefit from making these signs look more like actual signs and less like text on a piece of wood. Um, because, you know, if you make things more immersive and you make things try to be semi-realistic or mostly realistic, even if the horses aren't, it makes it much more exciting. It makes it much more interesting. Like, yes, this is very obvious this is over here, but at the same time, it's a floating sign. You could easily add, say, some kind of pole to make it look like a billboard. Or maybe put up, uh, maybe choose a different font to make it look actually like it's part of the object instead of being separate text or something along the lines of that, just to make it fit in with the environment better. Like, it would make more sense for a billboard with a pole coming down from it to be there than a floating sign. Small things like that really, really helps with immersion. Okay, let me dismount. Horse adoption. So you can buy a full or you can buy an adult. I do like that. I, I like that feature. I like the fact that you can buy a full. Let's see, I have 800 coins. What can I buy for 800 coins? It looks like the only thing I can buy is, like, the starter horses. I don't even have enough for a baby quarter horse. Um, another thing I would suggest instead of doing different horse breeds for each coat is just the name of the coat. Since if you look, all of these are the exact same horse almost, just with different textures to make them look a little different. I would recommend naming them based on what their coat is instead of by breed. So like, for example, this one, brown horse works, yes. Gray horse, that works. Black horse, that works. Quarter horse, this would be a buckskin, I believe. Because it doesn't have the markings on the leg, so I believe this is buckskin. Don't, don't quote me, I could be wrong. Uh, this, I believe, it looks kind of like a seal brown. I could be wrong, though. Stuff like that, like, just 
keeping it more cohesive instead of having brown horse, gray horse, black horse, and then a bunch of different horse breeds. Or, alternatively, you can change the black horse, brown horse, and gray horse to different horse breeds to keep it all cohesive. Because they, they really stand out as being, like, you know, it really stands out between the two. Because you go from having brown horse and gray horse to Missouri Fox Trotter. Brown horse and black horse are not horse breeds. But they're coats. Hold on, these buildings kind of look out of place. It seems like these two have different textures, or like the door is weird. And then these ones don't even have doors and windows. Again, keeping it cohesive. If one building has door, all buildings need a door. If one building has windows, all the buildings need windows. If all the windows are open and the door they, there's no doors on the houses, all of them need to have open windows and no doors on the house. That, even if it looks worse one way, it's cohesive. And when things stand out like that, it's noticeable. I saw these doors from uh, so far away because they stand out so much against the more Roblox-like house, and then, like, the realistic door doesn't make sense. It, it seems like a lot of the things that are causing issues for me is visual stuff, minus the turning animations. If some of the stuff was just slightly altered to be more, more cohesive, I could see myself potentially liking this game, or, like, enjoying it even. And small note, you might want to move the free trial thing because um, it's completely covered when you're on your horse and that kind of makes it hard to see how much time you have left. So if I want to see how much time I have left, I have to get off my horse. Okay. Uh, another thing is when you buy stuff in this game, it doesn't save. So probably don't spend any Robux on the free trial because it will not save, at least as far as I'm aware. I will say this game does have potential, it just really needs some extra love to get it to a more cohesive point. Because I've been- I'm in their Discord server, I've seen that the creator of the game is genuinely trying to make the game more exciting and add more features for more people to enjoy the game. Uh, including they're potentially adding breeding and wild horses, which would be super cool to see. However, I think one thing you should very much focus on, if for some reason they're watching this video, is try to make the environment more cohesive. Try to make the visuals more visually appealing. Like, this dismount button is right in my face. It is very distracting. Um, I feel like it could be a lot better if it was, like, in the corner or something, or somewhere out of the way a little bit more, so it's not covering, like, the entire bottom of your screen. Oh, is this my barn? Okay, yeah, this is my ranch. Um, I also kind of wish there was a little bit more to do. Right now, it seems like you can pick up coins or you can pick up coins. I did see a race thing. I'll see if I can get in a race before my free trial ends. But until I'm for sure that this game is something I'm actually going to play, I'm probably not going to spend any Robux on it. I'm lying. Um, okay, well, yeah, also this, the VIP area, I very much suggest perhaps making it an indoor arena, so it's less jarring to have just an invisible wall there, because if you put an indoor arena, you could have a little arena area in the front, right, and then in the back have a couple rooms with like a little lounge area and stuff like that, and it would make sense on the visual point of like where it's at and the fact it's right next to the training course and it also looks really odd having it be like a, just a giant empty like translucent box perhaps make that an indoor arena all right we're doing a race i don't know how well this is gonna go um i'm seeing a lot of immersive ads also kind of screams i want money Maybe cut back on the immersive ads a little bit. Or find some other unique way to incorporate them, perhaps, to make them stand out less. 
Like, something you could do is, um, what is it? You know how some race areas and stuff like that have, like, little marks along the sides of, like, banners of, like, people who sponsored and stuff like that? You could maybe set something up like that, where it looks like, um, like, little banners for places that are sponsoring the horse race or stuff like that. Can I jump over this? I can. The race isn't bad. I wish the checkpoints were a little more visually appealing. But it's not bad. So, like, that visual ad right there, I don't know if you saw that on the left, that was merged into the rock. Very out of place. It doesn't look like it fits there. I think I won. I could be wrong, but I think I won. Because I definitely hit that first. I don't know how much time I have left once I- once the race finishes. Oh, I did win. Okay. 30 SP. What is SP? I have 14 minutes left. I don't know what SP is. It didn't- it doesn't really say what SP is. Uh, I'm probably not gonna stay in here the full 30 minutes. But, like, you see things like this. This right here, unnecessary. You- you don't need to tell people this is the wild. Just by the visuals, I can tell this is the wilderness. This is a forest of some kind. There's no civilization out here. It's just a trail with nature. I can tell it's the wilderness without having any indication telling me that this is the wilderness. Or, alternatively, what you could do is, as you enter different areas, is have something fade on screen saying, like, You've entered the wilderness, or the wild, and then have it fade out. So people can still see where they're at, and they're being told where they're at, while also not having to put giant signs there. And it also makes it something that's like a nice little touch that's visually appealing. I genuinely want to see this game succeed. I'm willing to support this game if they put in the effort to make things more visually appealing, and they take care of the community. Even if their things are a little bit pay to win in some of the game passes and stuff, I do want to see this game succeed. I feel like the developer of this game has the heart to make this game successful and has the heart to take care of the community. However, only time is going to tell. I really hope that this creator decides to take the better path and care about the community more than money. I don't want to see this be another Wild Horse Island situation, and I don't want to see this turn into Horse Valley that only updates once a month, and most of the updates are subpar. If the developer by any chance is watching this video, the one main thing I have to say is keep working on your game. Listen to the community. Don't listen to every single person. Listen to the majority of the community. And actually spend the time to make quality updates and don't rush things. If you need more time, just say so. People will understand. If you take more time and then the update is still rushed, people will be upset about it. Just take your time, continue working on your game, and... Just try to be the horse game that this community needs because most of the horse games have either given up because the community has scared them away or they just don't care about the community at all. But that's all I'm going to have for today. At some later point, I might revisit this if um, a lot of things change or if viewers want me to come back and check out specific mechanics like if you guys want me to purchase a foal or something stuff like that maybe i'll come back and do so but i don't know i cannot be for sure but i hope you guys enjoyed this um this is as honest as i can be about this game without it getting too rude or like too overly positive i'm trying to be as neutral as possible this game has potential, it just needs to fulfill it. So, creator, if you're watching this, don't give up. The community needs you. Just please don't do it for the money. Do it for the community.
I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.